Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 3. It's a brand spanking new week. We've done pretty well uh, up until now. Uh, we've only got a couple of objectives left to complete on Guardian. Uh, leveling three gems to level 70 and completing the, uh, three conquests. Now I was having uh, a little look at the, uh, the different conquests available for us. Um, Sprinter, Acts 1 through 5 at uh, max level in under one hour in hardcore mode. That's going to be difficult just because of the speed involved. Um, Avarice, uh, I mean, we could potentially drop to a softcore character, but I don't really want to do that. Worlds Apart, kill the bosses at max level on Torment 10 or higher within 20 minutes of the start of the game in hardcore mode. Possible to do solo, but very tricky. Uh, and then there's Masters of Sets. And I actually think the Masters of Sets would be kind of fun to try and go for. Um, our level 70 gems, they're going to finish themselves off automatically um, with our Barbarian. We're really close to doing it there. We can do more with this character. Um, but what I was thinking I might do is I might look at potentially putting together the builds for Zunamasa's uh the Helltooth dungeon whereabouts is it and it's somewhere in here uh, in fact let's let's go this way uh so uh the jade harvester's dungeon uh Zunimasa's dungeon uh the Helltooth dungeon and of course we've already done uh the arakir one uh so th there's quite a lot of uh, potential for us to to get those done and then with our barbarian we could do the remaining other ones uh having a look at uh our equipment we are missing Zunimasa's chest piece is there a yeah there is a torso um so that's probably going to be high on our objectives to try and get we could uh, we could try transmuting one of the existing pieces across um that'd be fine um but in order to do that we're going to need oh we've got some death breaths okay so which of these is better in fact is there anything that we've got like loads of mm. Probably the helmet's going to be the best one to switch across. Or maybe the... Actually, no, we could do we could do one of the poxes. That could work. Let's, let's do this one and we'll see if we can get the, the chest piece. I, I'm not planning on running it right now. Um, we're going to obviously need to uh, find the right equipment uh, and also find where the dungeon is because I've not been to Zunamasa's one. Um, there we go, convert set item. Let's see if we get... Oh, that's the string of skulls that we needed. Um, so we also need the chest piece. Let's put this in here. Um, we're going to need one of these to transmute... I think it's, it's going to have to be this one. So convert set item. There we go. Let's just count, make sure we've got uh, all the bits that we need. So we've got hands, we've got feet, we've got head, we've got torso, we've got legs, we have offhand, and we have fingers. So we've got full Sunamasa set now. Um, over here for Jade Harvesters, we've got head, we've got torso, we've got feet, yep. Uh, we've got legs, we've got shoulders, and we've got hands, so that's good to go as well. Uh, obviously we've got the Arica set, and over here for Helties, uh, we have head, we have, sh sorry, we have shoulders, we have torso, we have feet, we have no legs. Okay, so we're going to need to get Helltooth legs. What's going to be... Oh, that's a perfect intelligence roll. There's bound to be something that's a little bit pants. Four, four, four. All right, we'll... We'll do this chest piece, hopefully, into some legs. So, convert set item. That's not right. Let's try again. And there's the legs. 
Okay, so we've got everything that we need um, in so far as the actual items. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, run a regular rift. Uh, let's put these points in that we got with our barbarian. Uh, one, two, three, and three go in there. And this is going to go in cooldown reduction, life regen, and area damage. Um, because we've just spent all of our death press. Um, so I'm going to run uh, probably a couple of regular rifts, build up some uh, some rift keystones. Yeah, I think we're good to go. And then uh, probably next time and for the rest of the week, we'll uh, see if we can find the other dungeons and what we'll need to actually uh, run them. Now, standard disclaimer, it has been a while since I've played the Witch Doctor, so there is always a significant chance that I'm going to do something foolish and, like, get myself killed. Hopefully not, but... Uh, it takes slightly more effort than the uh, spin-to-win tactics of the Barbarian, so it's always a little bit more dangerous. Thankfully, we're quite beefy now, so it's not really that much of an issue. I'm still so happy that we managed to uh, run a level 70, uh, GR70 with this character. It, it just goes to show, like, it, it's totally possible to do casually. I mean, we're only in November now. There's about a month left um, of the season. So there's plenty of time for people to get up to this level. And I only play really once a week. I play a little bit on Monday, a little bit during the rest of the week, just to keep the characters both ticking across. But I don't put many hours in, all in all. Um, you could easily play, well, 24-7 if you wanted, um, and shoot through stuff. But just, just casually, like a couple of hours here, a couple of hours there, uh, you can totally do everything in the season journey, if you plan for it. Alright, let's have a look at this. Now, one of the things I know we're going to need for Zunamash's dungeon um, is the mojo that uh, gets rid of the cooldown for Grasp of the Dead. Uh, that will make it significantly easier. I forget the name of it, um, but I believe it's red. So uh, I'll have to check, see if we've got it. And if we don't have it, we'll uh, have to work out a way of getting that. Which will probably mean asking Kadala for mojos again. I mean... She is disappointing always, but there's always a chance that she'll uh, she'll be nice to us. You never know. And that's not to mention all the stuff that we would uh, need with our barbarian. But the barbarian, I think, will be a little bit easier. Um, it'll just be a case of rinse and repeat uh, on Monday evenings and see how many we can get through. I don't think I've ever done the Immortal Kings dungeon either, so. This would be a good opportunity as well to, to get the wings because I haven't completed all the dungeons for any of the characters yet. I know we're in season 15 and I still haven't done that. Um, it would be nice to do that. Uh, I think my brother did it quite a while ago back when uh, some of the dungeons were even uh, styled differently. So it's good to have a, an up-to-date challenge. And having two characters means it is an option rather than having to like create a brand new character and then try and twink them up to the right level. Which is also an option. I mean, if we uh, if we get ourselves a gem of ease, we could make a new anything, really. Power it to 70, spend all the resources and shards on equipping it, and, uh, and then just face different kinds of disappointment. I wonder what the uh, the eight easiest set dungeons in the entire game are. I mean, some are like significantly easier than others. Some are just like, oh my god, this is difficult and why and all of the pain. Right, let's get a little bit of damage protection out here. It's nice having a, a bit of a casual run through as well to kind of ease you back into things. I wouldn't jump straight into a GR70 after 
after having a, a week away from the game. It'd just be, it'd be asking for trouble. Although it would be a very, very intense, right, we're back in the saddle, kind of thing. So, take from that what you will. You guys need to die. There we go. Feel much better about that. Now, one of the common problems that you face with set dungeons is having to undergear you. I mean, sorry, not undergear, underpower you. Um, it's it's very possible to get the right gear that you need in order to complete the dungeon and then end up too strong for it just because you're killing stuff too quickly or any number of other reasons. So in order to do these dungeons, I'm probably going to be looking up ideal builds um, online. I'm not just going to be winging it like I did with the uh, the Arica one. Uh, we'll be planning properly and uh, taking things from there. Uh, yeah, let's go down this way. I need something to... You guys will do. Soul Harvest. Gone through a door. Yeah, just a tiny bit of being frozen. There's Nephilim Valor hiding under my frog. Or well, toad. I suppose technically it's a toad, isn't it? Should call things by what they are. Otherwise we're calling spiders cows next. Power try? Why not? Burn, baby, burn. Right. I would like some nicer packs to kill, but... Uh... If needs be, I'll grind through all of these mobs. Um, thank you to everyone who made uh, suggestions for different ways that I could have done the Avaricious con Conquest. Um, obviously going after um, uh, a bovine bardish and uh, killing all the cows with the boon of the hoarder would have been one way of doing it. Um, then there's just speed rifting. Uh, that's another good suggestion. Uh, another thing uh, that I've seen and uh, potentially sort of doing um, is just accumulating uh, T13 bounty boxes. Because uh, the gold you get from them, uh, you need uh, almost a full inventory of them before you can... Uh, you can get enough gold, but it counts. It totally counts. So just uh, get yourself 50 boxes and uh, you're golden. But um, boom. Or at least your, your cash level would be golden. Uh, let's just push on down this way. I love it when they just run through and just like burn up. Where's that last one? There you are. Hiding up here. Give me your death breaths. And you know what? We'll fight the Rift Guardian in the next area. Which looks remarkably similar to the previous one. Now, of course, going for the other set dungeons will mean um, learning how to play the other sets, for want of a better way of putting it. And the Helltooth one is going to be quite similar, I expect. Uh, Xenomasses is going to be mostly summons. Oh, jeez, no. Nope. There we go. Give me those keystones and all those bits. Yeah, we got reasonable amount of stuff from that. I don't think anything if it's going to be spectacular. But as we're level 70, oh, sorry, as we did a GR 70, um, we have a chance to find Primal Ancients. Uh, I have found one uh, with my Barbarian already. Uh, it was an Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac. Uh, 
Razor Strop, Tyrael's Might, Spoilers, Pink Sticker, another Rhyme Heart. Yeah, cool. It's all materials for the machine. Right, and I was going to check. We do have Wilkins Reach. Well, that's good. That's the one for Xenomasses. Dungeon. I'm pretty certain that's the one for Xenomasses Dungeon. So we'll put it down there so we know where it is. Um, as for the others, I have no idea. But that'll definitely be something for next time. Next time, I'll come prepared with uh, what the builds are going to be. And uh, we'll probably try one dungeon per episode. And if there's time left over, we'll do something else with the time. Uh, for the moment, though, let's uh, let's run and do a greater rift. See if we can get some good drops. A GR17. We can always run away. We do have the money to just pump it and get lots of experience. So, yeah, why not? Because it's incredibly dangerous, that's why not. Jeez, especially if things are going to be like attacking through the walls. Let's run through all that. Now our haunts are moving on quite quickly as you can see. So that's working definitely in our favour. But we don't want to be getting complacent. We don't want to ignore ranged mobs or anything like that. We're a little bit ahead on the time. This is not too bad at the moment. Let's just refresh our soul harvest before we move on a little bit. It's probably actually not worth sticking around for them. Trying to keep on top of all the different things and keeping movement available. And of course resources are a bit of an issue when we start moving at super high speed. Just a tiny bit, but it's it's worth paying attention to. Ooh, I see something that looks like we want it. Can we get in here? Sort of. Channeling Parliament, there we go. So, hello all the resources that I wanted. Awesome. Nice purple pack. Kill him off. And uh, we are scooching along quite happily. Although I would like more than just a couple of... Oh, that looks like it's... Right, watch out for that guy. Because he's going to do a charge. Even if he's moving slowly, that's a lot of potential damage to come in. Don't make me run away. Running away is bad at the moment. Okay. Still going well. No deaths. No danger. Well, no, like, brown trousers level danger. Although we are low on resources again, so... 
Let's just be aware of that as we move on. Okay. Little bit of a breather just before we move on to the next bit. Ah, yeah, hello. Hit him with everything and whack that damage level up. Ooh, shield. Ah, I really want that. All right. We'll go around. Don't mind me, guys. Out of my way. Right. Now. Who are we going to kill first? All of you, then all of you. I need something a bit more interesting to kill. Okay. All looking good. Still got about half of that shield left. I'd like a bigger cluster of mobs to take on at the same time, just to make it a bit more efficient on our resources. <laughs> I love the toes up. It's like me when I'm eating chocolate. Okay, let's go down here. So we're up to 64%. Not super fast run, but certainly not super slow. Our shield is gone, so... Let's be very careful. Keep this damage reduction out and definitely watch out for the flamey, flamey, flamey goodness. Round we go. Ow. No touching. They should all know the rules by now. Oh, nope, this is bad. All right. Woo! Okay, so our potion is on cooldown at the moment. Now, mostly that was a resource management problem in that I didn't manage my resources. The cooldowns, we were pretty much okay with. That got me just out of the freezing issue. Okay. We're still perfectly fine. This is not too scary, but these things can very easily go south if you're not paying attention and you end up surrounded by too large a group, you will get completely destroyed. Alright, 95%. Probably somewhere in the middle of all this will be... That pulled them just the wrong way. Uh, will be the last mob we need. Let's focus on you for a moment. Hmm. 
99%. <laughs> so close. We are tantalizingly close. Ah, there's a couple more mobs down here. And that was enough. Okay, who do we have? It's Mancarver. Mancarver is hit with everything. Mancarver is gone. Super quickly. Gotta love it. Okay. Right, let's grab all of this. We got another mojo out of that. And these points are going to go into our gems, of course. Uh, let's put you up first to 55. And then we will bring Bane of the Stricken up a little bit as well. Now, if I was better at navigating at speed, then we could try to do um, one of the uh, run through the game super, super, super fast. Um, but I'm really not. Um, it might be fun to try anyway, just to see like if we could get four uh, achievements. Oh, sorry, four conquests this season. Uh, but that will that will be after we've sorted our immediate questions. Right. Okay. So we do have that mojo. Um, but we could potentially get a better one, and we could potentially get a better one for this. So, gambling for mojos is what we'll do right now. Hmm. Okay. Let's uh, let's salvage up what we have. I'll just double check how this compares. A little bit worse. But, I mean, we have a spare, so... Uh, this is horrifying. Mm hmm. Well, we don't have it yet. Let's hold on to it, in case we can work it into a build. Uh, ancient homunculus could be useful. Probably not. Uh, but I think that'll do for that, right? Let's salvage these up, and then we'll run one more rift to finish this session off. Yeah, I've, I've got time for one more. Okay. Still got enough money? Good. So that mad dash in there was entirely to get our... Let me just run around here. Um, damage reduction stacks up. And we got eight. Uh, so that was dropping the toad first of all for the 50% and then immediately charging in. It worked quite well, all things considered. And that actually means we're off to a pretty good start. There is going to be a lot of ranged dudes in this area though, so that doesn't make me massively happy. Die easily enough, though. Which does make me happy. I mean, I said we were off to a good start. Time is already shooting away from us. We are low on resources again. We can make this work, but it is going to be a little bit uh, tricky. Let's back off for a moment and... There we go. Get some things killed. Get our resources back. Tactical positioning. That's what it's about. working well enough. 
Let's get a haunt in here as well. That'll help out a little bit. Ooh, hello, you guys. Right, you're gone. Last one. Ow. That was only our potion. It wasn't a death. And that was because I let my damage reduction expire. Definitely not doing that again. Right. Slightly nicer area. And a shield pile. Alright. Oh, hello. Right. We'll get right in on this then. So... Bang, bang, bang. Shield Pilot just gives you such an option for, for doing mass murder. Alright, let's hurry on to the next nice looking group. You'll do. And we may as well just push on, actually, while we've got the shield. Yeah. Shield's not going to last forever, but... We're switching to a power pylon. So now we almost don't need to... Um, hit them with Locust Swarm. Almost. Still advisable. Especially as the power pylon is about to run out already. Do need to keep our damage reduction up, get the toad out periodically. Alright, we've lost power pylon. And... Cool. Good progress. Fire chains is not good when combined with invincibility. Onto it. This is potentially a little bit painful, but worth it to get them killed. Okay, 96%. Wow, this is a super fast run. I was right about having enough time, that's for certain. Ninety-eight percent. Ninety-nine. We there. We go. That's enough. Gone. Eight minutes fifty seconds remaining. Jeez, that was quite good. Uh, Urshi, you're going to carry on with Bane of the Stricken for us. head back and we can hand this in. Okay, so three levels. Let's put them in. So we're still making reasonable progress just on the just on the Garrigan levels. Uh, running GR70s it seems to be working well enough for us. New transmog, baleful remnant. Well if we wanted to do a crusader, that'd be cool. Another puzzle ring, that's good, we'll hold on to that. And yeah, uh, two bands of hollow whispers. Goody. S of Johan, goody. Zweihander, Tyrrell's might. Yeah, I'm going to salvage all that up. 
Uh, let's ask for more mojos. Yeah, disappointing. Uh, still, that is that is definitely going to be time for us for this episode. Uh, so thank you very much for watching, everyone. I do hope you are continuing to enjoy this. Um, as I said, we're going to be trying to do the various set dungeons. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time off camera um, seeing if we have what we need to try it, finding out where they are. And uh, I'm going to be prepared to at least attempt them uh, next time. We'll be starting with Xenomasses. Uh, so I hope you'll be able to join me for that. If you are enjoying these videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should do so and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Diablo 3. See you soon.